What's up, my fans? It's Saturday, so that means it's time to dive headfirst into my sack! My mail sack! Each Friday, I ask you to send questions via Facebook and Twitter, and then I choose 10 to be answered here on the show in hilarious fashion! Sometimes. Sometimes it's a dumpster fire. Let's do this shit! Call me sack! Fair and Fakahuno. More sack? Regular schedule? What's up with that? Yes, Fight Fans, if you follow me on social media, you'll see that I have announced yet again a new format that I will fail miserably at without question. All I ask is that you mercilessly rip me to pieces whenever I miss a show, because damn it, what kind of channel would this be if you guys didn't say horrible things about my family whenever I'm late with an episode? I'll tell you what kind. The kind I don't want to be a part of. But yeah, I was feeling motivated at 3.30 in the morning after way too much alcohol and caffeine, so here we are. Don Manos. Beck Rawlings being initiated into Stockton 209 what? Alright, Beck, if you want to be a true motherfucker, see the Gracie Stockton style motherfucker, you're gonna need to answer a few questions for us. Okay, shoot. Fucking true or false? You're selling wolf tickets, and everybody's just eating them up. False. She's good. What's the most mark-ass, bitch-ass, punk-ass, fucking bullshit, punk chump motherfucking thing you can do in a fight? Wrestle. Alright, complete this sentence. Stockton 209. What? She's in. Wait, one more thing. Give us some shout outs. Alright, real quick shout out to all my Joey's back in Brisbane. Koalas, the bush, Hugh Jackman for saving the world from Sentinels, Ugg Boots, Crocodile Dundee, the Great Barrier Reef for giving Nemo a place to live, the Sydney Opera House, Vegemite, Wallabies, and Kangaroos for introducing the world to boxing. Animals can invent stuff too, motherfuckers. What? Jack Bauman. How the fuck does weather work? It was like 65 degrees a week ago, now it's 14 below. Jake, let me let you in on a little secret. Not one single person on this planet has a fucking clue how the weather works. We can't predict it with any accuracy past five minutes. We have no fucking clue about long-term trends. I am 100% convinced that when you get your degree in meteorology, they take you into the back room and they say we actually have no fucking clue about any of this. So let's get fucking blasted right now and just make some shit up for the morning news. Lionel Soto. What would it sound like if Anderson, Connor, Nick, Vitor, and George played a game of COD together? All right, guys, here we go. Everybody stick to that plan. We're all going to camp safely together and then win that match. It might be boring, but we're going to win, so that's all that matters. I know fucking bitch-ass camper. Let's go rush these motherfuckers. I seen their KDRs and hitters, homie. Okay, I can't find anybody, bros. This team ducking Vitor so hard. Why you all have ghosts on, bros? You so you can better duck Vitor? Tank me, Vitor. I saved your life from the new tuber. Tank me. Bro, nobody gonna kill me because they all ducking me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! Guys, I go knives only, and I make this guy miss, and I cut his feet arms, and he died for some reason. <laughs> Anderson, I am happy for you, but I'm not impressed by your knife kill. The Proton Champ. Describe in intricate detail the difference between a number one contender and an interim belt holder. It's very simple, Proton Champ. A number one contender is waiting for a title fight with the champion, and an interim belt holder is waiting for a title fight with the champion, but... They also... When you become the interim champ, you're... It's kind of... This base place is for communication with the warriors. As I lock eyes with a warrior that has his face painted, and the outer edges of this base place interlock with each other, then I know that that warrior is ready to make that sacrifice so that I shall live. <laughs> Tim May. Ricardo Lamas doing a Tommy Toehold impression, doing a Conor McGregor impression. I'm the best fighter in the world of the fighters of the Conor fights, ah! I'm not very good with impressions. Sean Perry. Tommy, if you were to run for political seat, which one would you choose and why? One that nobody gives a shit about, because then I can hold that office for the rest of my fucking cartoon life, reap all the sweet ass benefits of being in public office, and still have time to play PS4 all day. I mean, seriously, I have no fucking clue what a county clerk does, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it's jack shit. Sign me up for that. Izzy Fox. Yoel Romero playing a game of tic-tac-toe against a velociraptor. Hey man, what the fuck? You walked away from the board, you forfeited the game. You can't come back afterwards and finish the game, it's bullshit. Raptor, I'm so sorry! I don't know what happened. I had to go back, I didn't come back, a bitch. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry, Raptor. I don't mean to make you sad, Raptor. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why to... I beat you in the game, I don't know how I just... I'm so sorry. This is fucking bullshit. Tony Thumbpoke. How did you find a way to get away from my lemur gun? That was the perfect weapon. It was the perfect weapon, Thumbpoke. You've done your research, I'll give you that. You know all about my past with lemurs. What you failed to consider, though, was that I would buy a fossa gun. The lemur's primary nemesis. How do I know that a fossa gun would work? Three penguins told me. Brandon Katz. How do the Diaz brothers feel about Marvel's upcoming movie slate? Do you have all these fucking Marvel movies coming out, homie? Yeah, they're putting these movies down to the maximum effect. That's what's up. Fucking Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and shit. Man, I love that fucking raccoon that talked. That motherfucker was funny as fuck.
We didn't talk about Raccoon at the gym. He'd be all like, hey, motherfuckers. We'd be like, what's up, homie? Then we all smoke a bowl. Yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. Let's go practice nunchucks. That's Joe Fight Fans. Tune in daily for new content. Weekly on SB Nation. Check out Robin Black and Steph Daniels breaking down fights on brawls and beers. And head to TripleTHS.com so you can buy shit with my face on it. Remember Triple THS? I'm Tommy Toehold. This way also closed.